Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video we're going to talk about squash and stretch. Okay, so um, before we get started with some tips, let's just uh, quickly, briefly go over some of the concepts that we covered. So notice this is the default size and volume and proportion of the ball. And eventually what's going to happen is it's going to start to stretch out. So what you want to do is to create some kind of a path of action kind of like I'm doing right here as a target for you to follow so every time you draw the ball it's gonna go and it's proportionally gonna shape and be the size that you want so at this point you can keep it nice and rough it doesn't have to be perfect and right now what I'm doing is I'm just searching for lines let's zoom in just a little bit so you can see a little bit better Okay, so as I'm doing this, and I have this path of action going on, I can animate on top of this. But again, remember, you want to change the proportionality as it's supposed to be going a little bit faster. And then it goes in the opposite direction. It goes back to its default size and shape as it slows down. Okay, so now that I have that all set up, um, I'm going to just go to the end. Let me extend my exposure go back here to the beginning and on a separate layer let me choose a different color and we could start to animate right on top okay so there's my first sketch I'm gonna go two frames forward let's turn on onion skin draw my second frame two frames forward and by the way I'm using the period key on the keyboard in order to advance the timing period period Again, I don't mind that it's really rough right now. I'll I'll make it uh, I'll make it clean a little bit later. But I just want to be able to get the right proportionality, and I want to get the right size of the shape of this ball. It's a little unrelated, but notice that I have onion skin, and it's uh, I'm drawing with a red shape or a red line, and then my onion skin is also red kind of hard to see what's happening so just be aware of that you can actually change the color of the onion skin um, sample that's in the preferences you can also just not use red uh, it's up to you so you got some choices so anyways now that that's done I can go back and start to play this I'm just about finished with this animation but again I just again I'm thinking about whoops I'm thinking about What's the size? What's the proportion? How do I best represent this? So the surface area and the volume uh, maintains pretty nicely. Okay, let's go a couple more drawings and then we'll scrub through this and look at the movement. Okay, so let's go here, F5. I'm gonna zoom out just a bit and then you can kind of see when I turn off um, onion skin, you can see that as I scrub through, what's going to happen is is that there's a little bit of communication that happens and the shape um, changes however the volume appears to maintain the same size I'm going to turn off this layer and then let's just scrub through let's go back and forth so we can kind of see what that movement looks like All right. so how do we take this and apply it to something else I've already done a separate drawing earlier so let me just show you where that is or a separate set of drawings so again um, like we did this path of action right here I went and created a path of action for a bouncing cell phone so you can kind of see what that looks like now what I did after that was I went and roughed in the animation so if we go and run this line right here if we go and we take a look and, and we go to advance from click click from frame to frame what's gonna happen is is you can start to see that I've got this bouncing cell phone and even though it's it's a rectangular shape, I still have the same proportionality uh, that's happening as it does its thing and it bounces across the floor. Okay, let's just go and loop the animation a few times just so we can kind of see what we've got. And I think we can call it for this video. Okay, so there's my bouncing cell phone, a little bit of effects animation at the end, looking fancy. I'll go ahead and turn on this one as well so we can kind of see um, both of them in action. Alright guys, I hope that video was helpful 
Here's what I want you to do. Go give this a shot. Start with some very basic shapes and really try to figure out how to animate and keep the proportionality correct. Once you're done with that, go back and fancy everything up. All right, I hope that was a helpful video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye-bye.